Hello everyone, I'm Kat Malheim and look what I found. This is some coffee blossom tea that I made over a year ago. I was in Hawaii and I had the opportunity to work on a coffee farm. And it just so happened that I was there when the coffee trees were in bloom. And the coffee farmer, Craig, shout out to Craig and Leslie at Kona Farm Direct. Craig had the idea to make a coffee blossom tea. He had tried it before, somewhat unsuccessfully, he said, but I figured, why not give it a try? So I did a little bit of research online, couldn't find a whole lot out there, but I decided to give it a go anyway, and uh, this is what I came up with. I filmed some of it, at least like me picking the uh, coffee flowers, so I can show you some of that footage in just a second, but first I wanna brew it up and see if it still tastes good. I tried a little bit of it about a year ago, um, and it was really good, really floral, obviously it's flowers, kind of like jasmine tea sort of vibes, really delicate. I picked the brewing instructions basically from some things that I found online and also just kind of like guessed. I'm gonna open this up and try and brew some right now, see how it tastes a year later, and then I'll show you some footage of basically the process. Let's go. This is what the coffee blossom tea looks like. It's not the prettiest to look at. Uh, the coffee blossoms are white, and then of course when they dehydrate and oxidize, they turn brown. So you can kind of see, let's see if we can find a flower that's clearly a flower. Here we go. So you can see this was, this is a dried flower. This is about one ounce of the coffee blossom tea. And we're gonna add 110 grams of water. Overshot by one gram. Smells like floral tea. We're almost at four minutes. Give that a look. That'll be my thumbnail. It's not a lot of tea, but a small cup. At least it doesn't smell like rancid. <laughs> it doesn't smell like bad, having been in a bag for over a year. So that's promising. All right, it's been four minutes. Let's give it a try. There it is. Coffee flowers smell like jasmine, and it definitely does. Oh. That's a lot more complex now than it was a year ago. It has more of like an earthiness. I feel like when I tried it a year ago, just after I had dried it, it had a lot more uh, like toasty flavors. Um, like, well, I had just dried it, so it was like freshly, freshly dehydrated, and now it's sat in a bag for 
like 14 months. And I feel like it's a lot more complex. It's silky and it's like has like almost like a slippery mouthfeel, which is actually quite pleasant. Hmm. That's really tasty. I wish I had more of this. This would be really good. It's very hot in North Carolina right now. This would be really good as an iced tea, but it's kind of my only go at it. As I finish this, let me take you along back in the time machine to last year when I was picking these flowers. I have some footage from that, so we'll do that now. I have like brief explanations of what's happening, what I'm doing. You'll get to see the Gesha tree. Oh yeah, by the way, this is a, these are Gesha flowers. If you don't know a whole lot about coffee, uh, Gesha is a variety of coffee. There are different kinds, different types of coffee. Uh, and Gesha is very highly sought after. This is Gesha coffee blossom tea. So quite special. I'm very, I'm like, I feel very like fortunate. It almost like boggles my mind that I am able to have this. I just like ended up in Hawaii on a coffee farm working with the person who was like, you should try this thing. It just happens to be that the Gesha trees are in bloom right now. Very cool. Life is, life is cool sometimes. Come along and I will show you how I got to make this. This is a geisha tree. Uh, so it bloomed a couple days ago and now the flowers have dried and withered a little bit on the tree. Um, I know some people will pick the, pick the flowers when they're still white. You just have to make sure that they've been pollinated, otherwise they won't produce. So I've waited until they are uh, withered themselves and then I'm gonna pick them, collect them and brew a tea. Cool. <laughs> Blossom tea. I hope you enjoyed the quick trip over to Kona on the coffee farm and uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video and you want more videos, make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that bell button so you get a notification every time I post. I haven't been posting very consistently so it would be really helpful if you do want to watch my videos to hit that bell button. Let me know in the comments below if you have had coffee blossom tea, if you really like jasmine tea, if you haven't tried it but you would like to. Let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you next time. Cheers! Huh? Still recording. <laughs>